Hello, Jenny Hall here for Honeybee Stamps. Today I'd like to share a project that I created with Safari Babies Stamps and Dies and a square spotlight stencil from Honeybee Stamps. I'm also going to use the brand new Distress Ink color. I'm going to start out the project by stamping the elephant image with Memento Gray Flannel Dye Ink, this is a water-based ink, onto a piece of Bristol paper. Now I'm going to color the images with some Zig Clean Color Real Brush pens. I find that the Bristol paper works really good for blending the colors when using the Zig pens. Sometimes I call them Zig markers too, so forgive me if I use the wrong terminology. I'm going to use two different sets of grays for each one of these images. The cool grays I'm using on the parent or the adult elephant and the warm grays I'll use on the baby elephant. This will keep the gray color going throughout the entire image set. However, it will allow for the adult elephant to be very clearly marked away from the baby elephant. I like to add color into the shadow areas with a dark marker or dark pen. Use a mid-tone or a lighter tone to bring that color out and fade it into the image and then use a wet paint brush or a wet water brush to bring the image the rest the bring the color the rest of the way out into the image sometimes as in this baby elephant here i just go around the edge and it's enough to be able to give me the color pigment that i need for my wet brush to be able to move everything around sometimes in the middle of an image i definitely want it to be much lighter than the edges or the shadowed area. So by using this method, it allows me to be able to control where the contours are going to appear. I'm using a white gel pen on the little toenails and on the eyes of the parent elephant to bring out the highlights. I really like how a gel pen makes things so easy I don't have to worry about coloring over those very tiny spots when I know I can go back and hit it with a gel pen. To keep this stencil in place, I'm going to use some pixie spray. If you haven't used it before, it's a really fun spray. It's like a tacky glue, but it's not too tacky. And you spray it on the back of the stencil and then place the stencil on your paper. I then just tap the stencil very lightly in place in order to keep it where it won't move around. I used some post-it tape to go around the stencil area because this stencil piece has many different holes in it for other sizes and the post-it tape is really easy to make sure that the rest of my card base doesn't get any color where it's not wanted. Now for the fun part. This is the first time that I've used the Speckled Egg Distress Oxide ink, and it is so pretty. Using a new ink or a new ink color is always really exciting. And I was, ex I was inspired by the name of the color to make my background actually look like a robin's egg. And I thought that would be really good for a baby card. So we're going to first lay down just a simple layer of the Distress Oxide. And I'm, I've still left it a little splotchy in some areas, but it will settle down a little bit on its own. I first added some water droplets and picked that up with a cloth. And now I'm using a light brown Copic marker and, and a medium brown to do some flicks. And it now looks like a robin's egg. The flicking was definitely not uniform. It was only in spots, and that's perfect for that natural effect. Now I'm going to peel back that stencil, and I will make sure that I take it to my kitchen sink with some warm soapy water to get that, per that uh, pixie spray off. 
Now I'm going to stamp my sentiment with brown ink. Instead of using black ink, I thought brown would be nice because I'm working for a, a very comfortable feel for this card. The, the grays are both warm and cool, and I also don't do this very often, but I added a piece of ribbon. I have loads of ribbon, and I very rarely use it in my handmade cards, so I just took one piece and secured it down with some mini glue dots and made sure I pushed it up underneath the edge of the elephant and it's just going to create some texture which is really fun and whoever receives this card whenever I send it will probably feel the little ribbon and I'm thinking it's going to work out nicely so I may start using a little more ribbon here and there I have lots of it don't we all and I'm using some moonlight rhinestones which are almost pearlescent and they have a flat back so that I could adhere them down around the top of the elephant. Thank you so much for joining us for a honeybee video and we invite you to connect with us on social media.